Zidane Deoni, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. So, this is another fan theory review. Fan theory review number eight. So, I am starting to think that soon we will have to lower the number of uh, fan theories that we'll be talking about because this video might be very long. But I will go over as many as I can. So let's begin with, of course, from last time, fan theory review number seven. We got a question about whether or not Marinette would reveal her identity to Adrian and Kagami uh, for whatever reason. Basically, if for some reason Marinette had to suddenly reveal her identity in season at the end of season three, what would be the exact reason? And I've talked about it before, but personally, I do not believe that it is going to be because of, well, that she's going to reveal her identity to Kagami ever. Uh, a lot of people would definitely like that. However, I personally do not think that that will ever happen. Um, the reveal is just going to be between Marinette and Adrian. Maybe they find, maybe one of them finds out first, and then they, or they just realize that it's too dangerous for them to not know each other's identities because there's a lot of things going on. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Um, so then I got a comment from, uh, back on the Serena and Galler, which, um, was before we got some, uh, the new confirmation, so we're gonna actually ignore that one. That was, um, he was, uh, basically Ash, uh, people, but basically it was asking if Ash and Serena will still be showing up, which I do believe that that will be the case. Um, then it was, uh, uh, then the next one was basically asking if my, th if the theory about Adrian and Marinette is still going to be coming and that they will be getting together. And I do want to say that it is actually getting more and more likely that they will be getting together, mostly due to the fact that as you pay closer and closer attention, even though they do seem to be connecting more and more to Kagami and Luka, there's also a lot of things going towards the idea that they will not be getting together with those two, but we'll have to wait and see exactly what's going to happen. Um, uh, more, uh, some more stuff about the episode. Um... Uh, a few things about the leak, which I'm not going to go over right now, but, um, the leak was very interesting, and we will probably be talking about it more and more, especially as we get closer to that release, but that's going to have to wait for a little bit longer before we actually start talking more about, uh, Serena and Galar again. And then... We had a question about, well, miraculous again. Uh, basically, what exactly is going to be going on in the season four and season five? And basically, what exactly is going to be Adrian's situation post the chance that he gets, uh, post the time that he gets together with his uh, uh, but what is going to happen to Adrian once his father is arrested? This is going to be something that we will be talking about in a much broader video tomorrow, but I will say this, that there are two major options right now that come to mind. One, he continues to live with his mother, and that will be at the end of the season. Um, or two, uh, he and Marinette get together and they start living together. That seems a bit off, though. I don't think that that's necessarily going to be the actual case. But the idea of them 
uh, working together and living together does seem like at least a possibility, but more accurately what I'm saying is that most likely what would probably happen is something along the lines of they would own Adrian's house and it would become the new base of operations, but I will be going into full details about that in tomorrow's video, so definitely stay tuned for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then we have a few questions about the new Galler info. Uh, basically, someone was wond uh, one of you guys was wondering, um, what well, I think, uh, basically the whole thing about the gender of this new character, um, everyone's wondering, honestly, there are some things that make me think that it is a she, but the thing is that they usually have these designs a bit different. Um, the design of the outfit of the character strikes me as more going to be a uh, male character, while of course the face, like I've mentioned before, strikes me as a female character. I am thinking though that it's most likely going to be female, but we'll have to wait and see exactly what they do once that comes about. And finally, the last question. Ash getting a ghost Pokemon and winning the Pokemon League. So that is a very, very big question. Um, I have to actually... The thing is that Ash has now won the Alola League. That's not a surprise. But, of course, Ash, well, he's, uh, he's different. And, uh, he has... Could he win this next league? I think that it's very likely that he will win Galar. Um, because that would be a good way to end off the series, needless to say. Um, we've all had these questions like, oh, what's going to happen? Blah, 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 blah. Um, I have, as I'm looking through the Pokemon, though, an important thing to note is that Ash doesn't really have any ghost types, like, at all. Like, whether you want to, um, like, you could, uh, if you want to count, count uh, Haunter, then yes, he had a Haunter, but that was an unofficial one, which, yeah, um, in, he didn't have any that he released, the only exception to this, of course, is Glalie, which is weird, because Glalie didn't have any ghost-type moves. And I kind of understand why they didn't give Ash any ghost-type Pokémon, but I don't know. It's still odd that he's never had a ghost-type Pokémon. Um, personally, I would love to see Ash get a Ghost-type Pokemon, and that would be his winning team to finally take down the Galar League, but unfortunately, we haven't seen that. Um, I could see it being a possibility, like Haunter shows up again and he evolves it into a Gengar, or he brings, uh, he gets the Haunter back and then just happens to evolve it. But we'll have to wait and see for exactly what they decide to do with that. Um, and that was also only for, like, an episode, so that was a, that's a kind of no. Anyways. Uh, so then we have of the question of how would he win the league? And honestly, I, for one, would love to see Ash use every single one of his Pokemon again. 
Like, every, uh, not just, like, little ones that he's used in the past. No, I want to see him use every single last one of his Pokemon that he has ever used in anything. So, he returns to... Uh, so, obviously, he goes back to home, probably for a short time, and just so happens to run in to Pidgeot. He stops in Gal uh, in Alola, or not Alola, in Kalos for a short bit, picks up Greninja to help him out. Lapras just so happens to be going by Galar... Uh, uh, when he arrives, probably. Butterfree, he spots the... <laughs> um, the, Butterf uh, the Butterfree migration and just happens to see it. <laughs> and also, Gudra would also be with the Greninja time. Uh, when he goes to Kanto, he would pick up Primeape and Squirtle to go into his uh, PC box. Or with uh, to go back to Professor Oaks. And basically throughout this region, while he would of course use new Pokemon from this region, I think what he might perhaps do is bring in some of his old Pokemon. Pokemon that never evolved. Um, uh, that didn't evolve to their final form. Pokemon like Boldor, like maybe he'll team up with him again and... Uh, trade him for a short bit and then trade him back and get Boldor as the new f uh, as the new form. Um, to yeah, that would be cool. Um, maybe Palpatode evolves into Seismatoad. Uh, Scraggy evolves into the other thing and blah 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 and so on and so forth to get them all up to final evolutions and finally take on the new league with a full roster of all of his pokemon at fully evolved states and i personally think that would be awesome um now a few things of note is that for ash's pokemon this time he's hardly had any um he only had like eight Pokemon this region, which is more than some, uh, than Kalos, of course, but definitely something to at least think about, and I think that Ash will most likely be getting a Ghost-type Pokemon, absolutely, because there are some pretty cute ones that we've already seen in the new, in the trailers and stuff, so I think that that is definitely a possibility, but that's just the last of the theories that we have for today. But anyways, guys, that was the last comment of today. Um, I know I gave a little bit more love to the Pokemon, but considering the fact that we're going to be doing a lot of Miraculous theories this week, I think it was fair. Um, obviously, there is nothing uh, that we have to talk about as of yet for a few other videos that I've released today. But, we'll see what happens. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And, of course, comment your theories down in the comments below. And, if you're new, please subscribe and ring the notification bell. Because, like I said, I will be talking about, well, the future base in tomorrow's video. But anyways, guys, I have been Electro Ninja, and I will see you guys next time. But on!